Hey, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper 3 of October, November 2005 for A-level math. So with that being said, let's move on to the questions that we have for you today. Now let's move on to question number one. So given that A is a positive value, good to know, we have to solve this inequality. So solving means finding the values of x in this inequality. Now, uh, as we can observe, we have modulus on both sides, but we also have x on both sides. So if that's the case, we can always square both sides in this case. So you will have x minus 3a square more than x minus a square. Now we have to expand those one by one. So you will have x square minus uh, 6a x, right? So 2 times this time, this will become this, plus 9a square more than x square minus 2ax and plus a square. Now we have to simplify so send everything to one side so you will have x square minus x square minus 6ax plus 2ax plus 9a square minus a square is more than 0. Again uh, solving means to find the value of x not a so x right so recall that. This will cancel out and this will become what? So minus 6 plus 2 will be minus 4ax plus 8a square, this one. Now we can rearrange, uh, we can send this over here, you will have 8a square more than 4x. Now to find x, we have to divide by a on both sides, this will go away. Divide by 4, you will have 2, so you have 2a is more than x, so you can write this as x will be less than 2a. So here we don't have to have equal signs because you can see here we don't have equal sign. That's why this will be your only solution. And the critical value here is obviously uh, x equal to 2a. This is where they meet. But for this to be true, this inequality, there's no equal sign, have to be less than 2a for this question. And that is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have two variables, x and y, are related by this equation. So y equal to ax power n, where a and n are constants. Okay, good to know. Now, the diagram shows the results of plotting ln of y. So again, we have this equation at first, but we are plotting ln of y against ln of x. Okay, for four pairs of values of x and y. So here we have first point, second point, third and fourth point. Now, use the graph. So using that graph, estimate the values of this and this. So let's see first. So we understand that we understand at first we have this equation, but we make them become ln y ln x. How can we do that? So let's see. So if you guys have done, done add math before, you know this is possible. We apply ln on both sides of this function. You will have ln y ln ax power n. Now this can be simplified to what? So here you will have ln of y is equal to Let's break this down by the laws of logarithms. That will be ln of a plus ln of x power n. Let's rearrange. Of course, we can send this one down. Right? You will have ln of y is n ln of x plus ln of a. Now, you can see, well, this resembles the equation of a straight line. If you recall, usually we have x here and y here as your variable. And this is basically y equal to m x plus c. This is the gradient, and this is the y-intercept. So using that knowledge, let's try to estimate those values according to your graph. For example, I can try to join the points and try to form a straight line. Let's see what happens. So I, uh, so I will see this, we'll join with this, and it will cut my graph at this point. Well, why uh, did I join this? To find this point. This is the y-intercept. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 0 0.7. So according to my graph, I can see that the y-intercept, the y-intercept is 0 0.7. Now by comparison to my equation, I know that y equal to mc plus x, this last one here is supposed to be your intercept. So I can conclude, well, ln of a has to be 0 0.7. Thus, a has to be exponential of 0 0.7. Of course, let's solve for this value. 
0 0.7, that should be 2.01. 2.01 correct to 3SF, that is the value of A. Now, how would you find the value of N, which is M, which is the, the, the gradient? We can use two passing points, as easy as that, right? The first point here we have is, is here, which is 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 so the first passing point is 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 and the second point is 1.2 and this is 1 so 1.2 and 1 so how do you find gradient we take y2 so let's say gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so 1 minus 0 0.8 you have 0 0.2 divided by 1.2 minus 0 0.4 that should be 0 0.8 the answer will be 1 over 4 for the value of gradient which is m which is this one as well so you confirm by comparison and will have to be the value of 1 over 4 right so i think uh, for this question the main takeaway is really to know how to break this down and then since we are plotting ln of y against ln of x, we have to apply those. And by rearranging these, we realize, well, this resembles a lot the equation of a straight line. And according to that, this will be the y-axis, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-intercept. So intercept will be right here. And this value here will be the gradient of the straight line, as we have seen in this question. And that will be your question number two. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.